has come into our mountain pose. Shoulders back and down, everything lined up over your hip width apart feet, all the way up through ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders. Core activated for support on your spine. Shoulders relaxing down and crammed toward the ceiling. Let's take a moment focusing inward. Breathing deep, letting that belly move out as you fill the lungs completely. Exhaling, letting it sink back in as the breath and stress push up and out. Take a moment just focusing inward. And as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch them out at shoulder level. Fingertips are reaching way up. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows slightly back, keeping the chest open. Inhale out to the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp your hands behind you. Press them toward the floor and lift your heart, and then pivot at your hips, exhale over. Come down as deeply into that as your spine would like today. Move your chin around, get your neck releasing a little more. Hands toward your head, get those shoulders working just a touch. And then knees slightly bent, and work your way back up. Inhale as you get to the top, lifting your heart, and stretch your head back. Take a few moments there, lengthening into the back bend. Inhale upright and release. Take a moment feeling that circulation increase through your spine, with the energy flowing. And again, arms reaching at shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front. And exhale, clasping your hands behind you, opposite leg. Again, lift your heart as you stretch into the back bend and pivot at your hips, exhaling over. And just take a moment there, letting things warm up a little bit more in that stretch along your spine. And then knees slightly bent, lifting the ribs, drop the sitting bones, wind the whole spine into the back bend. Chest high, shoulders down, head reaching away. Spread out your toes, no gripping. And then inhale upright and release. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment again, noticing your body responding. As we get ready to stretch the sides, let's keep one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away from each other, everything nice and straight facing the front as you lean to the side. So don't lean forward, let this hand come down toward your knee, and push the opposite foot away into the floor. Look up slightly, make sure that you don't lean forward, and feel those ribs get a little extra stretch. Inhale up, release your arm. Again, just take a moment and notice it. How that side is different from the other one. So let's even it out. Arm out, shoulder level, palm up, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away. Again, everything facing forward, leaning over to the opposite side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra as you reach out through your head and fingertips. And then again, inhaling, come up. And release to mountain pose. Shoulders back and down and crown high. Let's stretch the spine apart for our twist. So remember, you want length through the spine. Arms out, shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. And again, stretch everything apart in the spine and twist to one side. Take a breath in, keep the weight on both feet evenly. And exhale over into that forward position as deeply as you want to go. Lift your hips a little bit, maybe. Get those legs stretching more. Keep your arms next to your ears. And again, working your way up on an inhalation. Stay in the twist and come into that upper body, open through your back bend, lifting your chest, elbows back. And remember, be gentle on that lower back in the twist. Inhale up, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, get lengthen up, and exhale, coming to the opposite side. Take a breath, and exhale, coming over. 
Deep it as much as you like on this side. And again, check your weight. Make sure it's on both feet. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little more. Relax. And then inhaling, work your way up. Weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And again, lifting your heart as you come into that upper body for a minute. Okay? Take a breath, pull in for the edge. And on an inhalation, come upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, reach up, swan dive forward, arms at shoulder level, hips pushing slightly back as you pivot at that hip joint, stretch it out, and then just drop in a rag dog, let everything hang, or pull in even deeper, hands behind your legs, getting good forward down. Release your arms to the front. Bend your knees slightly and again, wind your way back into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down, crown high. Bring your hands onto your back, heels of the palms about shoulder blade level, fingertips down toward your hips. Elbows toward each other, feel that chest expand. And then keep your hips over your ankles or touch them just a little bit forward and lift your chest as you push your head back away from you. So a nice little supported back bend. Take a breath, stretch it out, deepen into that as much as you like. And then shin toward your chest and come on back upright, releasing again to mountain pose. Stretch the spine apart and let the shoulders relax. Take a moment to breathe as you feel what's going on through your body and bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling, look at them, keep looking at your thumbs as you pull the hands back and another back bend, no support this time, so be gentle. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, all the way into rag Hands just dropping as far as they want to go. Think about the kneecaps moving towards your thighs and tightening the front of your thighs so that back of your legs gets a good extra stretch if you're hanging there. And then pull your hands up on your shins, under your knees, press into your shins with the palms, and elbows, knees, and spine straightening into that halfway up stretch. Keep lengthening through the sitting bones and the crown, shoulder blades, toward your waist. Drop down again, bend your knees slightly, palms together, inhaling, and again, into a nice little back bend as you come up, following those hands behind you. Swan dive forward, arms coming out, pivot at your hips, stretch it out, drop into rag dog. Pull in again a little deeper with the hands behind your legs, get a good stretch. And release to the front. Straighten your knees, straighten your spine, bring your arms out at shoulder level at above the floor. Stretch it out and pivot up, keeping those arms at shoulder level, shoulder blades toward your waist. Check as you get to standing, see if those hands are still shoulder level, palms up, bring them together overhead. Another back bend as you lift your heart and pull those thumbs back. And exhale, coming back again, pivoting over. Drop into ragdoll. And again, hands up under your knees on your shins for that halfway up stretch. Exhale, bend your knees and come to the floor, transitioning into child's pose. Hips to your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Take a breath or two there. Just relax. Separate your knees if you need to breathe more easily or get a good stretch on your low back. We'll do a little back bending today. So just let it get a good forward stretch as we're in child pose. And then inhaling, sit up. Bring your feet to the side and all the way to the end of the mat. Coming into staff position. Activate your core, so ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders back and down. Push out through the heels, pull the toes back, knees up toward the ceiling. Get a good stretch on your legs here. And then with the core activated, we're going to slowly rip down 
um, to the mat. So just keep your core working as you come onto your safe room and then onto those lower ribs and your shoulder blades and all the way shoulders down, head to the floor, coming into that reclined integration and corpse position. Just take a moment, let your shoulders release down toward the floor, hands, palms up. Take a moment to breathe. You can let the belly soften and relax. Then pushing your sitting bones toward your heels, press your back down. Bring your heels in right next to your sitting bones. Knees straight up. So remember a little roll in so that those knees don't spread apart. And press the whole spine down, pushing those sitting bones further toward your heels. Feel that whole back of your body on the floor. Feel a little contraction through those abs. And then we're going to pull the sitting bones back and arch up from your shoulder blades to your sitting bones with space under your back, lifting the ribs, coming into that back bend through that lower back area. And just a few times doing that, strengthening our lower back and toning the abs. So pressing into the floor with the spine and then arching up with the ribs lifting. And just a few times through that, just feeling your body, noticing how it's responding. And then the next time you're pressing down, leave the back on the floor. Check to make sure those knees are hip width apart and straight up toward the ceiling. Hands, palms down at your side, shoulders down. And then pressing into your feet evenly, lift the hip bones up and come into a bridge. So move up onto your shoulders, not your neck, and press into your hands and feet just gently along with the shoulders and arms, letting that whole hip area lift up. So just a gentle little bridge. And then exhale, release the shoulders, shoulder blades, the ribs, and spine all the way to the floor. As you get all the way back down, just notice what changes as you relax. And we're going to keep doing some bridges. So pressing down, inhale, lift the hip bones up, pressing gently into the shoulders. Move up a little higher onto the shoulders and then clasp your hands under you. Pull that little finger inside and press into the sides of your hands and arms, coming higher onto your shoulders. Never your neck. Keep the back of your head on the floor. And lift those hip bones straight up. Make sure those knees are still hip width apart. Press evenly into your feet and your arms and shoulders. And lift the hips maybe a little bit more. So feel the back bend. Go as high or not as your body wants. Lift the ribs maybe a little bit more as well. And then release the hands, release your shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine all the way back down. Take a breath there. Notice what's working in your body. You're going to do the same thing again, but this time when you clasp your fingers together under you, shift the one thing position over so the other finger is on the bottom and curling in toward your palms. So once more, hands, palms down next to you, shoulders down, press your spine to the floor. Keep those knees hip width apart, even weight on your feet. Inhale, hip bones coming up toward the ceiling. And again, come onto your shoulders, clasp the hands with that other finger inside. And again, pressing into your arms and hands and shoulders, work up a little higher into your bridge. Feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart, straight up toward the ceiling, hips rising, ribs rising, chin a little bit toward your chest, remember, but don't press the neck down into the floor. Make sure the back of your head and shoulders are on the mat, not your neck. Press into your feet, lift a little higher through the hips, through the ribs, press into your arms and shoulders. Take a breath or two, spread your toes, Make sure the weight is even through the feet. And again, releasing your hands, releasing your shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine. Coming back all the way down. Just take a moment and breathe. 
So get a little forward bend stretch by bringing your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Do that appreciative yoga hug. Letting your body get a good forward bend stretch, releasing from all the back bending. And then head and keep back to the floor. Heels right next to your sitting bones again. Knees straight up, hip width apart. And hands at your side. We're going to do another bridge. So once more, exhale, press down. Inhale and lift your hips. And again, come onto your shoulders. Clasp your hands under and lift up onto your shoulders a little bit higher. Chest high, ribs high, hips high, and knees hip width apart. Weight even into your feet. And again, working into your shoulders, not your neck. Take a moment and breathe. And then we're going to take the right foot and bring it straight up toward the ceiling. So an extended foot lifting. Keep the knee as straight as it wants to be. And the ball of the foot area, base of the toes area, reaching up. It's even, so make sure that you're not sinking down when you lift that foot. Press into your hands, shoulders, and arms, as well as the foot on the floor. And then exhale and bring that foot back down. Take a moment there, straighten things out if you need to. And then releasing your hands, your shoulders, your shoulder blades, ribs, and spine. As you get all the way back down, take a breath. And just exhale with any tension. Feel what your body is telling you. Be gentle wherever you need to. And of course, we're going to balance the body and do that, yeah, with the other leg up. So once more, press the spine down. Inhale the hip bones up. Keep the weight on both feet evenly. Check those knees. Make sure they're not spreading apart. You want them right hip width apart. Hands on the floor. Clasp your hands again the opposite way. Press into the sides of your hands and arms as you work up onto your shoulders. Lift the ribs, lift the hips. Keep those knees hip width apart. Don't let them spread. Be evenly sinking into the earth, supporting you, lifting and breathing. Make sure your neck isn't on the floor. And when you're ready, lift that leg and extend it up toward the ceiling. Lift both hips. Make sure you're not sinking down on either side. Take a breath, coming into that bridge position. Foot extended, arm supporting, that foot on the floor, pressing down evenly, spread those toes out, lift the hips, even things out as much as you need to. And don't forget to breathe. And then bending that leg, put the foot back down, hip width apart, knees straight up, stretch through the hips and release the hands and the shoulders, and the spine, and then slowly again to the floor. As you get down, take a moment and breathe. And once again, bring those knees up toward your heart, and you can bring your head toward your knees for that stretch on your spine one more time. And head down, feet to the floor, hands next to you. Take a moment and breathe. So keep those knees hip width apart. Make sure they're not spreading apart. So remember that rolling at the top of the thighs helps to make sure those knees stay lined up with your ankles and your hips. Press gently into your feet. Exhale, press the whole spine to the floor. And we're going to go up again into a bridge. So pressing down as you exhale, and then as you inhale, lift those hip bones up, coming onto your shoulders one more time. This time, we're going to take the hands and put them under your hips, and then settle your feet back down with those knees still hip width apart. So coming into that supported bridge, lift those hips up as high as you want. Make sure you're on your shoulders, not your neck and your head is on the floor. Adjust however you need to. And again, just breathe. So support it, bridge. Take a moment to breathe. So your elbows 
are supporting you. Your hands are under your hips and your knees are hip width apart, feet evenly supporting along with your shoulders. Take a breath, feel the back bend and release your hands, release your shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs and spine again all the way down. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. Once again, just notice how your body is responding as we work through these modifications of work. And we got one more, a little bit more intense. So remember, stick with what works for you if you need to go back to a previous version. We're going to go into that supported version again, and then we're going to do a little bit more. So once more, exhale, relax your whole spine. And as you inhale, lift the hip bones. Make sure those knees are hip width apart, feet hip width apart, and come into just a gentle bridge. Work up onto your shoulders, take your hands, and again, support your bridge with the hands under your hips. Feet down, supporting you, and breathe. So as you're in your supported bridge, make any adjustments you need to make it more comfortable. Be on your forearm or your upper arms, rather, elbows down and your hands supporting your hips, shoulders down, head on the floor, not your neck, feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart. Stay there or extend your legs out straight. So that's a little bit more strenuous. Don't go there if that's not right for you. Take a breath, hips up, breathing. Chest high, arms supporting, exhale any tension. And then if you've extended, bring your feet back under your knees, release your hands, shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine, everything down. Take a breath, just exhale any tension. Bring your knees toward your heart, Wrap your arms around once more, a nice little forward bend, and stretch. Exhale, bringing your head back down, feet to the floor again. So feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart, full body relaxing down, and arms again next to your hips. And we're just going to leave the back down this time and bring your right leg up toward the ceiling. Bend that leg and put the ankle on the left, above the left knee on the thigh. And then right hand to the knee, just gently pressing away. Take your left hand behind your left thigh and bring that foot up off the floor. So gentle pressure with the right hand into the knee and pulling in with that left hand toward you keeping those hips about even as you let that work. Take a breath. So this is really good for your lower back, helps with sciatica supposedly also. So just be gentle and do what's right for your body as you're in that position, not too much. You don't have to use your hands if you don't want to, just keep pushing out with that right knee and pulling in with the left leg. Take a breath. And maximize, only as much as you need. And then bring your left foot to the floor, release your hands, bring your right leg straight up toward the ceiling, straighten it out so that will roll in and then the knee foot back to the floor. Take a moment, breathing and just relaxing. Press the back down, and this time we're bringing the left leg up. So foot to the ceiling and then cross it over on the Thigh above the right knee. Left hand to the knee, just a gentle push away. If that's enough, you can stay there always. Or bring your hand to the back of your thigh, right hand to the back of your right thigh, and bring that foot up and in. So the knee goes out on that bent left leg, and the knee pulls in, the leg pulls in on the right leg. So just gently pressing down. You don't need your hands if that doesn't seem like it's necessary for you. Take a breath and just do what's right for your body. And then bringing your hands to the floor, foot down, 
Raise that left leg and straighten it out, bringing the foot back to the floor. Move your hands to T position, palms up or down. We'll just do our bent knee twist. Press your spine down gently into the floor, lift both feet. Keep the necks to each other and roll the knees over right at hip level as you turn your head toward the opposite arm. So the knees come down as far as they want to go, support if you need to. And keep your shoulders down, breathe deeply, exhale. Let the ligaments release along your spine and deepen your twist when your body's ready. So knees coming down, lower back twist, head turning, neck area twist. Always personal practice, what's right for you. And keeping those shoulders down, let that whole middle of your back maximize its twist as well. Take a breath. Relaxing as you exhale. And to release, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, knees right above your hips once more. Hands, palms up or down to twist to the other side. Knees coming to the floor, right at hip level or in that direction as you turn your head the opposite way. And again, deepen into your twist only as far as your body wants to go. Exhale any tension, shoulders down, hands just relaxing, stretching away. Take a breath. Let that twist happen. Lower back, middle back, and upper back. And again, to release, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, bring your feet to the floor, slide the mat, bring your hands near your hips, palms up into child's pose. No, corpse pose. <laughs> If you want to turn over and do child's pose and get a nice little floorly bent stretch, that is an option as well. So relax through the hips, through the back. Lots of work there today. So just let everything release and soften. Turn your hands, palms up near your sides and let those shoulders relax. We did some work today too in a different way than usual. Take a deep breath. And just let everything release. Turn your toes slightly toward each other. Let the legs relax. Scrunch your face. Move your jaw around. Let your whole upper body release. And just allow your body to grow heavy and sink into that surface beneath you. Letting it go. No attention. And as you release the tension of your body, other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them flow away as well. Deep breaths in. Exhaling and relaxing. Just letting everything go. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Let the thoughts drift as the body sinks. And just let your awareness focus inward. Find the peace within and fill your body. Fill your mind. Fill your being with peace. You have time to keep relaxing today. Take the time you need. If it's time to prepare for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you do, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you. You're moving your legs, your feet, your arms, your hands, stretching more completely as you breathe more deeply. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation today, sitting bones toward your heels, heels in toward your hips, pressing that back gently down, 
Bring those knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Lift your head if you'd like. Get that good appreciative stretchy yoga hug. Lengthening through your spine and appreciating all your yoga work that your body did for you today, as well as the work your body does for you every day. And then bringing your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.